Okay, so here's what I've done in the break. So we have Divine Fields. I replace the two Mad Scientists with Sun Fury Protectors because that's going to force my opponent to deal with my Divine Shield guys. Nice. I'm a smart guy. Um, Redemption, I think, is... Redemption and Avenge, I'm thinking, are the two possible cut spots. Argent Squire, he's part of the theme. Gotta hold on to him, Divine Favor. We're tossing out a lot of little dudes out. Uh, makes sense. I think we're a little low on card draw. A Blessing of Kings um, and a Blessing of Might seems like very interesting choices in this thingamaduty. So I'm gonna try one with Avenge because I just think it's so cool. I think it's so cool. So. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. 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 Yeah, so I think that the Avenge... Someone suggested in the chat is that, um, especially with Mad Scientist, if you run out Mad Scientist, you might accidentally run out Avenge and screw yourself over. Okay, so we definitely want this to go. I think the Blood Knight is what's going to give us some huge plays. This is really good, because the Scarlet Crusader can die easily, and then we can just redempt it. But we have to be very careful about our turn, too. Alright. Do you see what I see? Gosu plays upon me. I fight. I fight. We got a blue night, straight blue all day or day. Bring out your dead. B -b -b Bring out Bring your, out your dead. Bring out your dead. Holy shit, if he has the arrows. Uh, gulp, I suppose I would say. So we gotta run out this sweetheart. We might be waiting a while on our blood knight, to be quite frank. Whew! Are you sweating? I'm sweating, man. Uh oh. Uh-oh, who's getting traded? Oh, welcome back. For the crusade! Oh my god, look at those wings. No one's ever seen the wings because no one's ever actually played a Scarlet Crusader. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Now we can go for the Silver Moon Guardian. I think that's correct. I mean, we still have to play, but I think it's a little better for our mana. You see that? Boom. I was sweating. Uh-oh. Okay, yeah. That makes more sense. Uh-oh. Why you want to hit that one? Uh-oh. Oh, no! Frost bolt. Seems fine. My shield for Argon. Redemption. Hmm. Ozzy Hayas is. Oh gosh, Sean didn't get the memo about the event. It won't activate unless it can find a target. Yes, I did know that. That's why I'm thinking it might be more of the cut spot. I think Redemption has just so much synergy with the Divine Shield. Someday I'll be just like you. Someday I'll be just like you. This is ooh. My shield for Argon. Reporting for the breach. The endlessly taunted Crusader. Flea Hazing asked about this deck. This is the first game I've played with this deck. I think that if I have Avenge, I need... That's, I think, more for a deck that has, like, a lot of buffs in it and stuff.
What could be this? Could be Mirror Entity. So I'm not going to run this out yet. Bink. Donk. Maybe I should run two lay on hands. Never done that. Hmm. All right, we get trade trade Ringo Dingo. Probably doesn't have Flame Strike then. Great, really great. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Okay. to have this guy out again. Yeah, I'm thinking that cutting the Avengers is probably going to be the first thing I do. Hmm. Oh. He totally top decked for Lorthamar. Alright, I feel close. I feel close to the win. Feels close. Feel close? I'm feeling close. I think divine feels are within me, and they're in my body right now. So redemption's pretty good. And if I roll need. Yeah. Got him. For justice. Got it. All right. Hey, put a win on the table. Let's see this. Let's come back. Let's come back and look at who we are, for God's sake. All right. So divine feels. I think the Avengers are going to have to go out. So if, if durability is our theme. Our four drop spot is pretty thick. Are the peacekeepers what's coming in? No, well. I'd like another two drop, maybe. Maybe not, because we already have those. Maybe Blessing of Kings is a fine. Seems cool. Blessing of Might, seems cool. Cannot decide which one I want more. Cannot. Blessing of Kings is something that I just have not really run very much, so I'm just going to give that one a shot. Slows us down a lot. Argent Protector. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to run two of them. And to feel good about myself, unless I have a lot of little dudes. Like, if I have a lot of, like, three twos, two drops, I think that it's great to run. Hmm. Hmm. We're thick in our four mana column. Although, I think Consecrate is going to be more like an eight or nine. I will fight with honor. Huh. Well, let's, let's, let's do some squire time. We can run a hammer. Yeah, what's yeah, what's nice about Blessing of Kings in this is that I have so many potential silenceable targets. The light protects me. Straight light protecting time. Consecration's gonna be big for us here. What does he coin out on turn one? Oh, of course, a haunted Quipa. I fight. Not Value! <laughs> I, I know someone just threw up right now. 
<laughs> oh, that's too funny. Oh my god, that was awesome. That was awesome. I feel icky. I feel icky. Oh. Uh. Uh. Alright, we have some pretty clear this next time. turn. The light protects me. I imagine he'll probably beat my ass instead of beating anyone else's ass. You like that play? Mm. I'm not certain an Argent Protector is good for us. I really think he's probably useless for us. Oh, he's thinking real hard. I mean, I see no reason not to just... Pitch some of the boys out. Alright, just keep it clear. Keep it simple. I'm gonna hold on to my cons consecrations because I feel like my hero power is fucking better than his hero power. So I can just beef my dudes. Go straight dude beef. Dude beef all dare day. Hmm. Oh, that sucks. That redemption sucks. The battle. For me. Okay, so I'm at the very least doing this. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argon. I what what are you going to do? Army of one ones. Am I right? Army of one ones all day. See so if our army of one ones is gonna help us through. I have some divine feelings this is gonna be good. Take heart. Your mother is near. Eh. Eh. I guess I'm in no hurry. I guess I'm in no hurry. Army of one ones. Army of one ones. That's how it's done. I think Kel'Thuzad is pretty cool. Kel'Thuzad maybe does not belong here. In this deck here. Hmm. Maybe a number of our high end cards don't belong in here. You know, the thing is that I've never really been good at building aggressive decks. Combo, control, make a little more sense to me. Like, I can wrap my head around what it is that I'm doing with it, but... Bring out your dead. I think more of the battley guys are they're pretty tough for me. Well, this... Eh. Well, this guy's... he's gone. I just... I'm gonna draw. Whatever. There's the my Kel'Thuvad. This is kind of weird. I think this is... I think this is the problem with having so much 4-drop heavy stuff. I think Divine Fields might need to be... Mucho Agresivo. I think I just quality consecrate or some shit like that. For the crusade. For Maybe the this crusade. is better. Shields up. Oh, crusade! I only have one more consecrate left, so I kind of want it to be a big one against the shaman.
Yeah, I'm kind of torn between a number of cool ideas of Paladin right now. Kind of stinkers. If he kills me this turn, then... Whoops. <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, there's like the, you can buff dudes up is pretty sweet. Oh, give me another one! For the crusade. Oh, crusades! Oh. For the crusade! I just realized that Kel'Thuzad is actually hard to do with Divine Shield, because if they already have Divine Shield, if I play Kel'Thuzad and run them into a person... They haven't died yet, so... Maybe that's actually pretty bad. Maybe it's pretty bad. Only Blood Knights cost two. Eh? Eh? Now, if I can get that blue knight out there, I can go ham. So, so I'm happy I'm, I've saved the equality, but I think I may have just screwed myself over hard. Now I even have funky cards. Uh, I think I actually kind of got a... <sighs> Crap. Man, I think I messed that up. For some reason, it never occurred. To, it never occurs to me that the seven four can, is like a is a thing that I can just and should kill. I wonder. Little dumb of me. Little dumb of me. Glory to the Sindora, my seal for Argon. Reporting for duty. I got this. With the non-ideal targets, I think I got to I got to do some. I gotta do some work. I always feel so naked when my cards are like slid up like this. I feel very, very self-conscious. Hmm. At least I'm spending cards and I can maybe do a divine favor. At least I have my favorite combo in the whole wide world as well. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, it's Dirt Friday. Welcome to the day nights. Alright, we get him back! Woo! <laughs> and then he has Lightning Storm, and I'm like, oh! Alright, we're gonna kill some things. Oh, yeah. Let's freak him out. What is this card? Silver Moon shall not fall! All right, quality consecrate divine favor. Boom, the triple combo. Hmm. Bring out your dead. Underbaker. All right, I can kill him. Do you smell desperation? So if I... So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna hit him. I don't think I 
I need to use a quality. So I can hit, hit, it resummons. Mm. Yeah. Justice. So, hit, hit, like this. Oh shit, that thing happens, doesn't it? Remember, kill for loss. I almost got this. I forgot about this thing pumping up. Cause if if it didn't pump up, then right now I could kill it with my one one. God, that was almost cool. And I still have my equality. Ah, that was almost cool. That was almost cool. Rats. Hmm. Alright, that's a good play. That's a good one for us. Army of Ones, Ones! Give me that blessing of kings. Bam! That's getting ignored so hard. The battle. Actually, Justice. I want to taunt her. No! I have a better one. I should have attacked with everything first as well. Maybe I should just hit him in the face? Maybe I should just hit him in the face. Maybe I should hit him in the face. We're having a lot of internal monologues and a lot of internal debates. You to master. That's a little bit of a concern for us. Quality. Bam. <laughs> I think face is probably the target of choice in this. Why is everyone saying do not kill it? <laughs> it's always so weird to like do a play. And then to see all of chat say something in response a while later. Listen, if you're gonna draw this card the way that I just drew this card... I love Argent Commander. I forgot how much I enjoyed me in Argent Commander, man. That card's cool. Divine Shield Charge Removal. Bam! I think we won. I think Divine Fields has given us the 2-0. <laughs> Still want to get another pass. My Silver Moon Guardians feel really bad. It feels really bad. I mean, do I want a Silver Moon Guardian that's a 3-3 with Divine Shield? And against the grain of everyone else, we go for Xaxes. 
Ah, oh, the Silver Moon Guardians. We're gonna do one more pass. We can't play another game, we can at least do another pass over it. Now here's what we could do. We could be like super aggro. Oh, this is Beats by Paladin. Okay, wait. Divine Fields, that's what we want. Okay. So I think if we cut out Silver Moon Guardians. Maybe Sunwalkers are dirtily here. I don't know. I don't even know what I want. Whatever. Silver Moon shall not fall, you know what I'm saying? Shant. That's right, 010 BM, confirmed King of Manors up in this. Okay, let me let me do a done here. Uh, the King and Queen of Manners, I love you guys so much. What we're gonna need to do. Uh Divine Feel uh, uh. Low end feels now. Divine Aggro deck. Okay, I'm not original. Now what we can do is we can do things like we can start off putting in these Argent Protectors and this true silver. And then we can put in a lot of the tiny guys. Like, so we'd have, like, an Undertaker would go in, and Argent Squire would go in. I don't know if we want Redemption, but let's, you know, let's check it out. We definitely want to get the Knife Juggler in there, the Ooze, the Oozes, the Secret of the Ooze, the Haunted Creepers. Uh, maybe an Egg? Let's see. Actually, let's, let's see what this looks like. Uh, Blessing of Kings. Definitely coming to town. Argent Squire Undertaker. Haunted Creeper Knife Juggler. Hmm. I feel icky. Actually, what about a Nerubian Egg? We need some more... Activators for it. Maybe Defender of Argus. Uh, I think if we're doing out this many, we definitely want our Divine Favors. Uh, Sword of Justices, I think, should probably participate. Undertaker's getting cut. I mean, the abuse of sergeants, I guess, are sensible. Ah. Uh. Mmm. Something like this is the start of something neat. We're gonna need equality for sure. We're gonna need consecration for sure. I think the double divine favor is an intelligent maneuver. I'm really trying to think through how this golem has to be in this. I don't really know what my high end would be. There's not really a lot of Divine Shield in here, though. Thank you, Divine Tickles. And if you call a deck Divine Tickles, you gotta have the King Tickler. This looks like a deck that's gonna lose almost always. This deck looks bad. That's the end of the show. I'm going to do one more day of laddering tomorrow. I'm going to go back to a little bit of, uh... Stalker up the next week. I don't like how this deck looks, but that's fine. Because the other Divine Fields deck is going to get prettificated so much. I'm going to try to turn it into something... Something beautiful and magical. It will be renowned in all the world. 
it will be so amazing. Maybe. Possibly. I want it to work, though. I need it.